Hello, writers. Uh, let's look at our new word wall words. Okay, so our first wall, our first word uh, is H tall, E small. Do it with me. Give me an H tall. Give me an E small. What's that spell? He. I'm going to use he in a sentence. He is very good at math. Or here's one more. Um, he has black hair. So we are going to get out our personal word wall word and we're going to add he to our word wall word. Let's see, where did I add it? Where's my H? There it is, he. And then I'm going to take out my note cards and I'm going to make he to add to my collection of my flashcards. I'm going to open up my spelling dictionary. I'm going to find the H page. Let's see, H. There's I. No, H is before I. H for hat and horse. And I'm going to write in on the top line my first H word in here, which is H and E for he. Remember, you can pause the video if you need to catch up because I'm going quickly. I'm not going as because uh, I did a lot of them already, right? I already made my card. I already put it on my personal word wall. So it might take you a little longer. So pause it if you need. Here's the word one more time. Pause here if you need to to see he. Okay, let's move on to our next word. This word has a W, A, and an S. Give me a W, small. Give me an A, small. Give me an S, small. What's that spell? Was. So was, z, it has that z, z sound at the end. Sometimes the S can be confusing on the end because of that. So this is our word wall word, was. Let me use it in a sentence. Um, was the store open today? Was the lasagna tasty? Was. Okay, so same routine. I'm gonna put it on my personal word wall under the W. There it is, was. And I give you the option to choose between both of these or one of these. I like both. I think it's good to have one up on the wall when I'm writing. And then I can open up the dictionary if I need to too because you might run out of room on this one. This one is a little bit small. So that's why I feel like it's nice to have both. This one I prefer but I think it's too small, and so that's why we have both. And then I'm going to make my card. My flash card was nice and big and clear to read. And then I'm gonna open up my spelling dictionary, find the W page, I know W is near the back. Aha, there it is. It has whale, W, whale. And I'm gonna write in my was, W, A, S spells was. I'm going to show you the word one more time. There, I put it in there. Pause the video if you need to to get that word down. Was. Okay, I'm moving on to the next word. Our next word starts with an F. O. And R. Okay, give me an F. Tall, give me an O, small, give me an R, small. What's that spell? Four, not like the number four. So let me use it in a sentence. Um, I bought this pencil for you. I baked this potato for you. <laughs> All right, so make sure you put it on your word wall word under the F. There we go, four. And then I put it on my flash card for my practice. Four, F-O-R. And I open up my spelling dictionary to the F page, which has a fish and a frog. And I add in my F-O-R for four, four, four. I'm gonna show you the word one more time. Pause the video. If you need to, you probably need to. I move a little bit fast to make sure you get that word down. Okay, next word. This word starts with an A. Then it has an R. 
and an E. Okay, give me an A, small. Give me an R, small. Give me an E, small. What's that spell? R. I'll use it in a sentence or two. Are you going to meet me at the park today? Are you planning on eating that cheeseburger? <laughs> All right, here's a personal word wall under the A, R. Can I make my flashcard? R. And then I take out my writing dictionary, turn to the very first page, easy peasy, A, with my acorn and my apple and my alligator. And I write R, A, R, E. There we go. I'm gonna show you R again, so pause the video if you need to look at it. R. Okay, moving on to our last word. This word has an O. And an N. Okay, give me an O, small. Give me an N, small. What's that spell? On. Okay, um, I am jumping on the trampoline. Please turn on the light. Here's your personal word wall word. Add it to the O. Do, do, do. There it is. Make your flashcard. Open up your spelling dictionary. Find the O page. I wonder what the O is. Maybe an octopus. Ah, I was right. And an orange. Octopus, orange. O-N for on. On. And here's the word one more time. Pause the video if you need to. Okay, so for writer's workshop today, on top of doing all of this work and putting all of your words together, I want you to practice with all of your flashcards. So we should have 15 words now on flashcards to practice with. If you don't have these papers, just use um, any sort of paper you can cut out and make the shape. But I like to use these kind of note cards and I'll be sending more of these to you when we have our next um, supply pickup. And so I want you to practice with these. You should know all of these words. And so practice, practice, practice with them. Maybe give them to someone in your household and they can um, show them to you and you can practice saying them quickly. So I want you to do that today. I want you to do word wall practice as part of your, um, as part of your writer's workshop. The other thing I want you to do, I want you to take out your writing topics page that looks like this. And I want you to add two ideas to each section. It's good to keep adding to this because when you're doing your writer's workshop and I say write about whatever you want to, sometimes you get a little stuck. And if you keep looking back on here and you keep seeing the same two things, like if you only have dog and owl for your animals, you're not gonna come up with new ideas. So, hmm, animal, frogs. I know a decent amount about frogs. I had frogs as pets a lot growing up, frogs. You can do a little um, illustration if that helps you too. Because sometimes you look at your words and you're like, what did I write? I don't remember. And so if you do a little illustration, like a little frog face. Um, this face will remind me that I was trying to do a frog. Another animal I could add, horse. Lou Bear's been loving horses. She has a little horse toy that she has to carry with her everywhere. Again, I can do a little illustration if that helps me. I'm gonna do a little horse head. I've got my little horse. Okay, so that was animals, now events. Okay, um, let's see. I could do, oh, Halloween. Um, yes, Halloween. So I could think about, it could be any Halloween, but it could be one specifically. There was a Halloween party when I was probably in second grade, maybe third grade, that we had at my house. And my mom did all these tricks and she had like strings on the ceiling where she could pull something and it would make like a ghost go through the room. It was really fun. So I could say Halloween party, I could write that down because that was really fun. Another event, um, mm, let's see. I could do where, um, 
Did I do that one yet? I talked about Lou's first camping trip. I like to think about Lou's first things. We took Lou to a yurt, so maybe Lou's first yurt. We went to a yurt. Lou's yurt is what I'll write down. And I can draw a picture of the yurt too to help remind me what I was trying to um, think of. So I drew like a tiny yurt. Places. Let's see, a new place. Um, maybe I'll do the school that I went to when I was a kid. It was called Warder, Warder Elementary. So maybe I'll put that on there because I went to Warder from kindergarten until I was in sixth grade. So I spent seven years at that school, Warder. Another location I can think of, another place is um, my house. <laughs> I could do my house. Okay, people. Let's see. Um, maybe I could add Kaylee. So Kaylee is someone new in my life that I'm teaching with now. Kaylee is someone I could add. Let's see, I have Matt, Lou, Angie, Kaylee. I have Theo from Angie's class on my list. Annika, who's one of my best friends. Maybe I could add a couple of, oh, maybe a parent. Who's a parent that I know? Um, let's see. Mazzy's mom, Karitha, is a parent that I know. I could write Karitha. That's someone I know. Hmm. I could add my new neighbor. I have a new neighbor next door, Meg. I could add Meg. Okay, so now I have lots of new things I can write about. I added one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight new things to my list. Two new people, two new places, two new animals, and two new events. So I would like you to do this for Writer's Workshop today. That was a lot of work, so I don't expect you to do a whole writing session today unless you feel like you're excited and want to write. And then, of course, please write. Go ahead. But this was a lot of work to do all of your um, words and practice this and add to your um, writing topics. If this gets full, by the way, go on to the back. Add more. Add more ideas. All right. That is it. Goodbye, writers.